this annoying article here from Deadline that says George R. R. George R. R. Martin ending of Game of Thrones was a different direction than I intended. I'm wondering, does it even matter what George R. R. Martin has to say anymore now if he's incapable of finishing the books? Do we care? Like, fair enough. We everyone gave him was it D and D Dan and David a hard time for how poorly they finished Game of Thrones, but they tried their best. They followed the source material for the most part. Was it until like season six or five or something? Right? It kind of followed, um, you know, m most of the books, you know, to the letter, and we got a really good show. We had some really incredible moments and really great YouTube channels were spawned off the back of that kind of talking about all the intricacies of the show and where it could lead. And then as the source material finished, and they had to kind of rely on their own storytelling without George R. R. Martin's direction because he didn't finish the book shit suddenly the show kind of unraveled and it became a complete mess and now you know game of thrones was at one moment one of the most important cultural kind of TV television events of the week and now you know people whenever you mention it it's just groans right no one's re-watching seasons of game of thrones unless you're watching again maybe the first five ep seasons or so no one's buying any of the toys or merchandise or anything it's just it's just if it, what it feels like at the moment it's like most fans remember the beginning so do you remember the maybe season seven or six when everyone on the free folk was basically telling us hey the the i think leaking all the plot lines for the t up and coming sh um episodes and people weren't believing it no it surely can't be this bad and whatever it may be and they kept like basically the free folk was treated a bit more as like the detractors so much from yeah the kind of you know the the bad eggs the bad influences within the game of phones fan base and then as soon as the episode started to come out we started to see how poorly the show was being written and you know the crazy directions it was going in and the crazy things that were happening in the episodes in general slowly but surely we all turned into free folk the free folk kind of um, subreddit became all Game of Thrones fans. And this is where we are. At. This is where we're at at the moment. And again, for myself personally, I've kind of come around to Dan and Dave. Yeah, they fucked up the show um, and they made it unwatchable now in the future, but they did their best, um, especially given the fact that the person that is required to finish the books couldn't finish it in the time they were filming the series and still hasn't finished it now like it's just insane and now he's kind of popping out telling us you know about the different direction they intended Ugh. anyway let's continue here it is all for jo george r. r martin is still working on the next installment of his epic fantasy novels that became the base of the hbo game of thrones he's still working still working um but he took time away from his labors to lament how the television version of his um seemed to get away from his source material the TV series ending has been widely condemned by fans and Martin's um, slow output on his A Song of Fire and A, a Song of Ice and Fire story novels with the Winds of Winter in the next planned series has angered many eager for a proper resolution. Martin said that he was surprised that the television series outstripped his output. He says, when they began the TV series, I had four books already in print and the fifth one came out just as the series was starting in 2011. I had five book head start and these are gigantic books as you know, Martin told people chicago i never thought that they would catch up to me but they did they caught up with me and passed me can't you then decide to maybe you know finish them then with that kind of when when you know when that's being revealed to you why don't you just finish them george come on brother while the show was on air martin had managed to publish just one volume of the series jesus christ um martin also what's that one he managed to produce one volume in what in 10 years or more than 10 years in 12 years <sighs> Martin also noted that when the television series moved ahead of his um, source material, it felt like it was going in a somewhat different direction. So I'm still working on the book, but you'll see my ending when that comes out. When will it come out? HBO is a prequel series of House of Dragon set to set up uh, with a 10 season. Was ten sorry set up with a 10 episode first season. It's better to arrive in 2022. Martin is again involved in the series. Potential problems since he admitted the first series drew his attention away from writing. This guy, does, why doesn't he just come out and just say I don't have it in him? Is that possible to say yet? Why didn't you just come out and just say, look, I don't have it in me anymore to finish the books? Because that's possible too, right? I'm sure, again, I'm I'm no professional writer or anything, but I do know putting to, you know, trying to write a book is pretty difficult. I would imagine so, especially under the pressure that he's at and especially given the amount of time that's elapsed, right? The spark, the inspiration, the motivation, you know, it can kind of dwindle from time to time. So it isn't, 
you know a stretch to say maybe he might have just lost the motivation to finish it and now he feels like he's kind of being forced to finish it and he doesn't necessarily have something that he wants to do but i would be perfectly fine if he just came out and say hey you know what i don't really know how i'm gonna finish it i can't really do it because i've got so many other projects on the go that i'm more passionate about but in order to kind of wrap things up i've put together a little cheat sheet or i don't know some something that can maybe tie all the storylines together a little bit in a nice little bow so the fans can have some sort of resolution but in terms of maybe finishing all the books he probably can't do it why don't you just come out and say that i'll be perfectly fine with it this sort of like honey dicking and you know dangling up the carrot every single year is just frustrating because we know he's never going to finish it because if he didn't finish it in the past what 10 or so years what gives us any hope that he's going to finish it now it just seems so bizarre that he's still playing these games really it just makes it weird. unless he's purpose unless he's actually in some sort of writer's block and he can't necessarily figure it out yet but it just feels like to me like you know he's clearly lost the motivation or maybe he's or other things that he's clearly more passionate about and that's okay you know uh, he's given us some pretty decent books again so far a pretty decent you know couple of seasons of a really good tv show um you know he's baby he's got a bunch of people into fantasy that probably would never give a shit about it like he's done a lot he could easily just come out and say hey this is my this is basically where i where i end with this story i'm gonna start new things so please don't argue about this anymore but here's the conclusion that you wanted i'm gonna go pursue my other projects people will be angry but at this point you know it's too far gone to really be outraged if he did put, put throw his hands up and kind of admit defeat but you know i don't know maybe just enjoy, maybe it's odd as well because he maybe he does partly also enjoy the clout the kind of clout the fame that's attached to it right the constant questions because no one's asking him about his new books that he's producing or the other tv shows that he's kind of advising or consulting or no one gives a shit and until they come out people watch them but you know until then we don't really care so the only things that people are generally kind of stopping on the street about asking questions is game of thrones so maybe in his head he doesn't want to let go of that as well i don't really know but regardless whatever it is it's annoying to see um 